Hey guys, it's Ray from Wiring Specialties. Today we're gonna to talk about an up and coming chassis that a lot of people are doing swaps into, the BMW E46. Here we have one of our Pro Series engine harnesses, completely plug and play, 100%. Common swaps that we're seeing are the JZ, RB, LS, and SR20 engines. As you can see, we wrap all our Pro Series engine harnesses in this lightweight braided nylon sleeving. The Pro Series engine harnesses are also designed in a fashion to be tucked and sleek in the engine bay. So this harness here is pinned for an ECU Masters Emu Black, but we have a variety of different aftermarket ECUs that we support. We support AEM, Haltech, ECU Master, Link, and Motec. On this particular harness, the customer elected to go with a drive-by-wire setup. For that, we included wiring for his BMW drive-by-wire throttle body, and we wired in the pedal inside the E46 chassis. When the stock BMW DME is removed, the CAN messages sent by the ECU are no longer there. TAC, coolant temp, AC control, some traction and ABS functions are no longer supported as the system no longer sees the proper communication from the DME. Our proprietary CAN bus converter device replicates or converts the necessary CAN messages from a non-BMW ECU in order to allow onboard modules to work. This box will allow any application we offer to talk to the BMW chassis and enable TAC, coolant gauge, oil pressure, AC, and the fan function in OEM fashion. These functions are all intuitive, but I want to take a second and look at the fan module. Here we have our shop E46. I just want to point out a couple things. It has a 2JZ engine. It's been through a couple hard seasons here at Wiring Specialties. Here we have the PWM driver from the E46 BMW. With our proprietary CAN bus controller, it communicates to this driver and plugs in through the harness to control the factory OEM E46 fans. In our experience, we've found that these fans are plenty for most engine swaps. However, if you do have to swap them out due to fitment issues, you can also use the factory PWM for the aftermarket fan. You just connect them right onto the two leads on the PWM and you're good to go. The way that our aftermarket ECUs sit in the engine bay on the E46 chassis depends on which ECU you're running. If it's one of the smaller ECUs, they do fit and tuck in the factory ECU location. If it's one of the bigger ECUs, like one of these LS1 ECUs, if we do an LS swap, these are kind of a big unit, these will go ahead and tuck up on the other side of the engine in that area. 